hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco 876 johnson guys it is so hot i can i cannot wear a wig i definitely cannot it's too hot so i just have my hair wrapped up i try to make some edges those did not come out good <laughs> It's too hot. But today we are going to do our eyebrows. We only need five tools. We need a pencil, a brow pencil of your choice, a mirror, large or small. It's definitely up to you. You need a spoolie. You also need a brush, a flat brush, nice flat brush. It can be as large as that one or small. It's your preference. And the concealer of your choice. Today we're using the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn so the most important thing is that your eyebrows should be groomed so mine is all over the place i did groom them myself today so i'm gonna brush them in with my spoolie and you're gonna see that they do have a decent shape that's the shape that i like so the front does have a good amount of hair i don't really have a lot of brow hairs so the ends won't and then it's arched however your eyebrow is shaped more than likely that is how you're going to fill them in so try to have your eyebrows groomed prior to doing your your brows prior to filling them in if you can or if you like um so the first thing that i'm gonna do i do have my pencil it's the italia pencil very very affordable and i'm going to go in with a small strokes small light strokes and i'm going to shape my eyebrow I shaped the bottom and now I'm shaping the top. I am going fast and that is because I've done this a million times and the most important thing is because I do have my eyebrows groomed so it's pretty easy to follow the outline that I already have. I do want my eyebrows to be a little bit thicker than what I normally have so I'm going a little bit above what is already there. So I do have the shape that I want. They are both outlined. So now I'm going to fill it in. So wherever there isn't any hair, you go ahead and you just fill in your eyebrow. If you do realize that the shape needs correcting like what I'm doing now, just go ahead and do that. I'm filling in the other one. okay so both does look good to me so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use a spoolie in case there are any harsh lines because sometimes i am a little bit heavy-handed and if this is going to be your first time doing your eyebrows you will be heavy-handed so just use your spoolie to comb out any excess product or brush out any excess product that you do have in your eyebrow just like i'm doing now So you can leave it like this or you can do what I'm going to do next. You can go ahead and conceal your eyebrow. Basically concealing your eyebrow is where you'd use a shade lighter or however many shades you like that is lighter than your complexion. Close to your complexion, it basically makes your eyebrow pop. So if you conceal using a lighter shade, it's definitely going to make whatever it is there pop. So I'm using the LA Girl in Fawn. I am starting to conceal my eyebrow, not at the very front, but like uh, probably three or four centimeters, I'm not sure, just, just a little bit, I'm not good with the measurements, just a little bit um, after where it starts. It looks a little bit more natural than when you bring the concealer all the way to the very edge. If you're not going to wear makeup, it can look a little bit off. I'm doing the same with the other side. I'm just taking my time. I'm not doing the one big whoosh because sometimes you will have issues. So just take your time and clean up the bottom of your eyebrow. Something that I must mention, the more product you use in regards to concealer or if you're concealing your eyebrow with foundation, the more you use, the harder it is to blend it out. So try to use a little bit. So I'm concealing the top of my eyebrow. You definitely do not have to do this. You could have stopped in the other step where I just concealed the bottom because that does give you a more natural look. But I do plan, plan on blending out the top of my eyebrows properly. 
well to the best of my ability because sometimes honey sometimes child just can't help it you got them halo bros just walking around so I did make a boo-boo right here. I did conceal the very, very front of my eyebrows, which I just told you that I don't like to do that at the bottom. It doesn't make it look very natural, but I'm going to blend it out to the best of my ability. The thing is with makeup, it's not always going to be perfect. And that is why I'm not going to hide any of my mistakes. I did have a bald patch right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill it in did fill it in off camera and I did well I'm going to clean up the top of my brows now with a other flat pencil so what I'm showing you now I'm putting the pencil close to my eyebrow and pulling it up if you're new to the eyebrow game you may use too much concealer and that may give you a line it's going to have a line of concealer at the top or bottom of your brows that's how you fix it so you just put the brush close to your eyebrow and pull it up so you get the product away and then blend it out. So now I have a sharp pencil and I'm just going over my eyebrows. If there's anything that I missed, I'm going to go ahead and take the pencil and make it precise. This is how I get my eyebrows to always, always pop. Once I conceal, I just go over with them with a very, very sharp pencil so that I can get precise strokes and that so that they can look as good as possible okay so I think that looks good <laughs> so the next thing that I'm gonna do well your eyebrows are completely finished but for beginners what I'm going to do, if you're at home, this is pretty cool during quarantine, you're not going to the office, but what you can do just to keep yourself looking cute, um, I'm adding some eyeshadow that is pretty close to that shade, to that fawn shade, just to um, ensure that the area doesn't get shiny during the daytime, it keeps matte, and it looks pretty decent if I may say and then I'm going to use a brown shade closer to my complexion on my lid and I'm going to try to blend those two together if you're a beginner this is a pretty pretty easy eyeshadow tutorial being added to this eyebrow tutorial so this is something that you can do if you want it to show more just add just keep adding more color just keep adding more um, product I mean it doesn't look like there's much on camera, but in person, it definitely showed. So that's what I'm doing, just trying to ensure that everything is blended. Okay, and we're back and we have on lashes. <laughs> I'm going to add some moisturizer. That's a Pond's Sensitive Moisturizer. I do have eczema, so I try to be careful with what I put on my skin. So I'm just adding a little because it's hot, but even though you're sweating, you need to keep your skin hydrated. So I am moisturizing my face all over, patting it in just to ensure that every little portion of my face does get some moisturizer. And I'm going to finish off this look with some colored lip gloss. It's pink. I did have on some clear lip gloss before, so it was a little bit hard. It was a little bit um, difficult to blend, but there it is. I'm going to use my spoolie just to ensure that every little brow hair is in place. If you do have brow gel, this is a part where you can use it. Well, this is the finished look. That is my eyebrow tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, 